operational tactical missile system Iskander M. What's going on here? Ah, we can hear your voice. Rocket launcher. I am not afraid of you. Because you are great and you are dreaming about peace. Hello, hello, my dear viewers. This is Marina and welcome to the Moscow Patriot Park. Wonderful international exhibition Russian Army 2024 opened yesterday here. Can you just imagine? 160,000 square meters, 28,000 of uh, novelties in uh, military Russia. Um, I'm not sure I can show you all the samples and all the exhibits, but only some of them. I don't have enough time, but I managed to get ticket here. I'm very lucky, yes? Are you with me? Let's get started and see everything gripping. exhibition is aimed at the target professional audience, uh, specialists of the Ministry of Defense, as well as managers and general designers of enterprises of the Russian military industrial complex. And do you see a lot of flags? Guests from abroad are also impressively represented. China India, Iran, Belarus and many others, um, almost 200 military delegations from our friendly foreign countries. I see amazing helicopter. Oh my gosh, I feel safe in my country. Accessories and toys. The army of Russia stores are open opposite. Did you notice that unmanned technologies? The main topic almost everywhere is unmanned technologies and electronic warfare. This is now the most important thing on the front line and in the rear. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Truth be told, because everything is so interesting and exciting. <coughs> I was not kidding at the beginning of my video um, speaking about 16, no, not 16, 28 thousands of samples of new vehicles and new technologies. The atmosphere here is really amazing. A lot of 
volunteers showing the way. A great deal of businessmen from different countries, as I mentioned before. Wow, a leopard! Much water has flown under the bridge since we met last. For sure, my dear viewers, this exhibition, the Army 2024, presents an exhibition of captured equipment that the Russian military was able to take out of the area of special military operation. I hope you remember my May video. By the way, there were lots of videos from this exhibition on Poklon Nagarai from different YouTubers, from different bloggers. Here is the link to my video. And now I see my old friends here. Some vehicles, judging by their appearance, were abandoned by the enemy almost without a fight. Others were seriously caught by shrapnel, bitten by shells of our artillery and strikes by Russian drones. There are also those that have burned out completely, such as, for example, famous American Abrams. Um, you know, guys, I feel happiness every time I see this burned out tank. American Abrams, in fact, turned out to be poorly adapted to modern combat operations. What do you think? Write down in comments. And now attention guys, there are exhibits that have proven themselves most effectively during the special military operation. I think this is the most interesting part of this exhibition. Let's see. I don't want to switch off the camera. Can you read it? Self-propelled air defense system. Gipka S. Anti-aircraft missile and gun system. Panzer S. I want to thank these vehicles and pray for our soldiers. And what's this? Combat vehicle of the short range air defense missile system TOR M2K.
self-propelled anti-tank missile system, Cornet D1. Remote mining engineering system. Multiple rocket launcher TOS2. <sighs> Self propelled rocket launcher for the coastal missile system Bastion. You're so huge. What's here? I feel tingles, guys. Really goosebumps. One hundred fifty-two millimeters self-propelled artillery gun to S forty-three Malva. And one more artillery uh, gun, Flox. It seems to me they have their own faces, each one. Armored recovery vehicle. This is our main combat tank. I don't see anything because of sun. Yeah, it's way better. Gosh, and what this tank? Yeah, main combat tank T ninety M Pro Reef. We need you, Pro Reef. And one more hero. Uh, no, not hero. People are heroes. Our soldiers are heroes. And you just help our heroes. Infantry fighting vehicle BMP2M with Berezuk combat compartment. It's really complicated for me. All these military words and military equipment. And if you are hungry as a wolf, so you're welcome to try military food in this army canteen. What do we have for today? Bucket porridge with beef meat, tea, and 
and bread, for sure. I think it's interesting to try something um, not typical, yeah? You know, my dear viewers, it's so nice to be a blogger. This is a present for me. Army cuisine from Russia with love. Spasiva. <laughs> I will try it right now. This is food court area and buckwheat with beef. Ah. Have a look at this. <laughs> Crumbly buckwheat porridge with beef. What can be better? Let's try. Mm, very warm. You know that Russians like to eat buckwheat, uh, but this is buckwheat in army style. I will cook always like this. It's perfect. Yes, now I see. I need two full working days for my coverage shootage <laughs> because it's only the start. <laughs> and all the exhibits are masterpieces of military development. Oh, just have a look at this cute helicopter. And again, unmanned technologies. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Am I opening the s s secrets? <laughs> military secrets of Russia no of course not because this exhibition is for all people you can buy a ticket their um, entrance fee is 1200 rubles and you can spend here the whole day every corner of the exhibition is not brightly colored novelties of armored vehicles and models of promising systems but those equipment and vehicles that the military really needs on the front line and in the rear as for me it's a little bit scary not a little bit it's really scary and horrible. And again, again, mul multifunctional system with un unmanned aerial vehicle. Unmanned technologies are the top today. I'm sure all these novelties must be interesting for military. Because these are exactly the developments that are expected in army today. Вот 
These are armored tankers that the driver can easily disguise as an ordinary tempered truck. And most functional armored transporters for infantry delivery and uh, evacuation of their wounded. Different engineering equipment and vehicles. The Exhibition Army 2024 is held not only outside but uh, also in a million pavilions. For example, there is an exhibition of civilian and service weapons. Let's see something. I'm not an expert in weapons at all. And you, my dear viewers, write down in comments what would you like to see. Because the area is huge here and I really don't know where to go. In order for the military industry to feel confident, after winning a special military operation, defense enterprises intend to focus on civilian technologies. More than a thousand companies will show 20,000 product samples at the exhibition. Taking into account the experience of conducting a special military operation. And many, many regions of Russia are represented here at this exhibition. Uh, have a look, this is Saha Republic or Yakutia. I hope all of you watched my videos about the coldest region on the planet. All these samples attract the attention, really. I don't know what's this. Have you got any ideas? It looks like a um, robot. I've already walked 20 or 25 kilometers. <sighs> the area is really enormous here. Oh. And I'm sure I will dream of these powerful military vehicles, military machines at night. And they will say in my dream that soon there will be peace and quiet in the whole universe. Yes, dear cars. And these machines will never be needed either for defense or for attack. <sighs> because love will rule this world. What a wonderful dream it will be. My dear friends, write down in comments, 
comments. What do you think about all this? For sure, I feel... I feel happiness. But at the same time, I feel grief. And sadness. Because all this is not about love. 